Let's bring in Heritage Foundation senior legal fellow Hans von Spakovsky to break this down. Okay, Hans, the New York Times is reporting it involved classified information involving Russian intelligence and Russian, docu- Russian documents that the FBI then got and then started leaking. It's reportedly about emails between Democrat uh, DNC leader Debbie Wasserman Schultz and a nonprofit official associated with George Soros talking about how then-Attorney General Loretta Lynch was going to step in and stop the FBI probe into Hillary Clinton's emails. There's no indication that email between Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the George Soros uh, nonprofit official is even valid, true, and authentic. But it's Comey leaking information. Second time he's caught leaking, at least. Your, Your reaction to that? Well, if, if in fact he leaked classified uh, uh, information, a classified intelligence assessment, uh, that's potentially a serious violation of federal law. And uh, that kind of mishandling of classified material has in the past led to the prosecution of many other uh, federal government employees. Okay, here, you know, here's, let's back up. There's a history here. There's a pattern here, Hans, right. that I'd like you to c- talk about. Federal prosecutors in New York had looked into James Comey after he had used his personal lawyer and friend, Dana Richmond, who was on the payroll of the FBI as an independent contractor. He leaks the contents of his memo about Comey. Comey leaked it to Dana Richmond about Comey's talks with Trump, uh, President Trump in the Oval Office about uh, Mr. Flynn. And then he, he leaks it to Daniel Richmond in order to initiate the special counsel appointment, meaning Robert right. Mueller. I mean, so this is, we, this is the only, it feels like only the tip of the iceberg of what we know about James Comey was doing in manipulating and working with the press. Your reaction? Well, yeah, and in fact, that's not something the FBI director should be doing. And, and remember, uh, part of the a prior IG report by the Inspector General of the Justice Department was uh, uh, blaming the FBI for many of its uh, personnel, uh, not just Comey, but many of its personnel uh, violating standard policy and protocols of the FBI by leaking, uh, widespread leaking of confidential information related to law enforcement investigations. This is the kind of thing that uh, shakes the confidence of the public in the um, objectivity of the FBI. And if James Comey actually uh, was guilty of doing this, that's a very serious violation. And it's something that needs to be looked at by the current attorney general because they need to investigate it. And once again, take a look at uh, should he or should he not be prosecuted for this? So let me back up. So this is really about you know, we have two things happening. We have right. the president being uh, going through an impeachment trial, talking about you to Ukraine about the Bidens. Right. And saying, help us out uh, looking into what's going on with the Bidens and also what happened with CrowdStrike. We get that part of the story. Right. The big story is intelligence u- uh, units and intelligence authorities and the FBI under the Obama administration, setting the tone, setting the narrative in order to get a, a action taken against the president of that candidate Trump and also involving Hillary Clinton's email probe. I mean, so th- again, this is about intelligence and FBI officials setting the narrative in the media. And that right. media narrative has been with us for months and years now. Go ahead. Well, again, I mean, that's one of the reasons why uh, the FBI, which frankly used to have a very good reputation, uh, it, it, its, its reputation has been damaged in the such leadership, a way. The leadership. Yeah, the because leadership. Because the, yeah. the men and women out in the field offices who we've talked to, they're, they're, they're just beside themselves. This is about yeah. the leadership in the headquarters. I didn't mean to interrupt, but go ahead. Well, no, that's exactly right. And in fact, uh, that is a real problem, uh, not just because of the problems that the IG found uh, with, with the whole investigation of the Trump administration, but this kind of leaking of classified materials. Look, that's what the FBI is supposed to be doing, investigating leaks of classified materials by people in other agencies. Uh, It's pretty hypocritical for them to be leaking this kind of materials. But but, but Hans, Hans, they're setting the narrative now about the DOJ watchdog report on FBI FISA abuses, trying to downplay it. And they're trying to set the narrative now about the criminal probe of the Russia probe by John Durham. 
They're trying to gainsay it in the media. They're still manipulating the media. Final word, Hans. Uh, they are still manipulating the media, and everyone need, just needs to understand this kind of serious misconduct by the most powerful law enforcement agency in the country cannot be tolerated. Uh, something has to be done about it. Again, it's about the powers used by an, uh, by an administration to go after a political opposition party. Yes. That's, that's stuff of East Germany. We've been on the story. We're going to stay on the story. We're going to have you back on, Hans. I wish we had more time with you. Hans von Svakovsky of the Heritage Foundation. Come back soon. Good Thanks to see you, Hans. Me. Okay, 